Hello everybody, Cosmos here, and welcome to Would You Rather! Don't know why I said it like that at all, I have no idea. Anyway, this is kind of like a choice game, most of you probably know what this is. The reason I've decided to play this is because I actually saw my friend Sam playing uh, Would You Press The Button, and I kind of wanted to do something similar, but I actually wanted to play that game, but rather than do the same thing as her, I thought I'd do Would You Rather. So. Here we are. So the first question, would you rather be a vegetarian and love a meat eater or be a meat eater and love a vegetarian? Okay, um, this doesn't affect me at all in the slightest. It does not matter at all to me. So I'm gonna close my eyes and just wiggle the mouse and click one. Which try to click, okay. There we go, so people would rather be a meat eater and love a vegetarian. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> doesn't mean anything. Okay, if you had to do one thing every morning, would you rather need to milk yourself or lay an egg? Oh, okay, um, hmm, that's a really weird question because they're both different, com they're both completely separate things, you know? Laying an egg is not the same as being milked. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with milk because laying an egg would probably hurt. <laughs> People would rather lay an egg. I guess if they laid an egg, they could cook the egg and have scrambled egg on toast every morning for breakfast. But then, I like milk, so milk's good. Milk's fine. I like eggs as well, but milk would probably hurt less, right? Would you rather burp extremely loudly every 30 seconds, let out a sm or, or let out a smelly long-lasting fart every 5 minutes? Um, it's gotta be burping, right? Has to be. Yeah, burping, definitely. Yes, I knew it. I knew most people pick burping. Here, 32% of the people are farters. Although, everybody farts. Would you rather work a minimum wage job for the rest of your life or live in the wilderness for the rest of your life? What? What do these have to do with each other? <coughs> wow, okay. That is completely different. Um. Well, I'm kind of working a minimum wage job at the moment, and it sucks. I hate it. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm sick of it. But <laughs> living in the wilderness, um, I, I couldn't do that. So I'd definitely rather take the minimum wage job for the rest of my life. There we go. More people would rather live in the wilderness. Wow. Okay, then. Sure. Would you rather be slapped full force by a UFC fighter... Or forced to lick a dog turd. Wow. Okay. Um. Okay. Just trying to think which would have like less consequences because I'm pretty sure if you were slapped in the face by like a UFC fighter, um, that would have really hurt and probably caused a bit of damage to your mouth and stuff. But if you're forced to lick a dog turd, you could catch something that could be really bad. Probably much because it's not physical. It would be like internal, you know. If anything. I think I'd rather get slapped in the face, to be honest. Definitely. Yeah, most people would. There we go. Okay, then. Would you rather be able to fly up to five meters off the ground? Five meters is pretty high, right? Five, one meter. One meter is about, what, 100 centimeters? That's pretty high. Okay, so that's 500 centimeters, I think. Or have a magic carpet that can fly up to 50 meters off the ground. So, would I want to fly, but I can't go that high, or want to have a magic carpet, so I can't fly, but I can, I've got something that flies, and I can go 50 meters. Hmm. Probably go for the magic carpet. Because how awesome would that be? Yeah, 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 you can fly, and you can hover and stuff, but how, how cool is it to say, right, here's my magic carpet, now jump on. You just arrive at parties in your magic carpet. That would be hilarious. That would be so funny. Most people, fairly even split actually, but slightly more people would have the magic carpet. Awesome. Okay. Would you rather travel the world confined to a wheelchair or spend your whole life in the same 200 mile radius? So, not in a wheelchair then, I guess. Travel the whole world in a wheelchair or spend your whole life... So, okay, so, wait. By choosing to stay in one place... You would not be handicapped if in the wheelchair you are handicapped. Oh, okay. I'm glad they've got that at the bottom because it kind of like 
narrows it down a bit more. So if I'm if I do this, then I am handicapped. But if I do this, then I'm not. Okay. So honestly, handicapped. That's fine. I've got no problems with that. If I get to see the world, that's awesome. I can meet all my friends. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to walk, but so <laughs> like it's I'd get to travel the world, right? Surely. I'm gonna pick it. Yeah, see slightly more people would rather be handicapped but get to travel because that's awesome. There we go. Awesome. Next question. If you had psychic powers, would you rather be psych what? <laughs> Psychokinetic or telepathic? What is psycho <coughs> psychokinetic? I think they mean telekinesis. Surely they mean telekinesis. I, I've never heard somebody called it psychokinetic before. Let's just double check this. Psychokinesis is the ability to move or change objects and surroundings of your mind. Telepathy is, yeah, to read people's minds. Yeah, but psychokinesis, really? I'm pretty sure it's telekinesis, I think. But I might be wrong. Uh, so would you ever have the power to, like, move things and change things or would I rather be able to read people's minds oh and or control people's minds so you could be like these aren't the droid you're looking for kind of thing that would be amazing right but then you could float objects so you could you could like you'd be stood outside of a shop and you could just kind of like you see like an awesome TV in there that you want. You could just stand outside the shop and then just like levitate it towards you and everyone would be running away from it because they'd be like, what the hell's going on? You know? Or you could be this one and just kind of mind control someone but then they might get in trouble. So if it was this one, then nobody would be like, oh, we need to find a person that made the TV float out of the shop. People would be like, no, that, no. I think I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather be able to move things because there's just a bunch of stuff you could do. Yeah, 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 it's cool to like control people and stuff, but to do it yourself is just more amazing, I think. So this one, definitely. Wow, okay, more people would control people. That We have a lot of evil masterminds here then. Control people and dominate the world. Would you rather snort one crushed up aletoid mint, spearmint, or take a shot? Uh, 1.5 ounces of Tabasco sauce. Um, instantly Tabasco sauce, a shot of Tabasco sauce. <laughs> I've done that before, it's fine. <laughs> it's a bit hot, but there's no way. When I eat mint, even just things like a po one polo or even one Tic Tac, I undo I'd break out in sneezes. I don't have no idea why, but mint things make me sneeze. So if I snorted one, I would be in a sneezing fit for the rest of my life. So there's no way... I'm doing that. I take the Tabasco. So would most people. Good job, people. You're choosing wisely. Next question. <laughs> okay, then. Sure. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> wow. Would you rather be eaten by a lion or be eaten by ants? Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. That is not a good question right there. That is a horrible question. If you're eaten by a lion, let's, let's ration this out, let's think this through. So if you're eaten by a lion, you get sharp teeth, you're being crushed, scratch, scratches and chunks flying out of your skin and stuff. So not a nice way to go. And then you probably would get, oh god, but if you're ants, you're going to be completely alive for a long, long time. And it's just going to be... If you would die quicker by a lion, yes, it would be really, really painful, but you would still die quicker than be eaten by ants, right? Because if an ant takes a bite out of you, you, you probably wouldn't notice it. You'd just be like, oh, what was that? Kind of thing. It wouldn't be a big deal. But if a lion takes a chunk out of you, you know, you could like lose an arm or something. So. You would definitely die quicker by being eaten by a lion, so I, I think, I don't think I could handle the torture of being eaten by ants. Especially, I'm not a bug person either, I can't stand any bugs, freak me out. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go with lion. 
yeah <laughs> the 12 people that would rather be eaten by ants you are very very brave people <laughs> don't think that's the way to go though would you rather light your hands on fire for a minute or light your feet on fire for a minute okay um <laughs> oh that's that's a tough one um hmm is there like a no oh that 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 is a tough one right there um do you rather light your hands on fire for a minute or light your feet? Hands or feet? What do you use more? You use your hands more, right? Yeah, so it'd have to be my feet. I'd rather light my feet on fire. Yeah, 65%. Plus, I think the, the skin on the bottom of your feet is kind of tougher than your hands. So, excuse me. <coughs> oh, God, this, this cold is still not gone, believe it or not. I've had it for ages now. Just one go. Anyway, yeah, the skin on, like, the bottom of your feet and stuff, I think, is a lot more tougher than the skin on your hands. Hands are usually kind of, unless you've got quite, kind of, like, a builder job or something, then your hands might get a bit more rough. But I still think that your, your, maybe the, no, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to stick with feet. Yeah. Would you rather cut off your right hand or cut off your left hand? Okay, so I'm right-handed, so that's a pretty easy one for me. Boom! Bye-bye, left hand. <laughs> they're, that, they're just equal I bet you every single person that's clicked this one is right handed and every single person that's clicked this one is left handed right? <laughs> there has to be surely <laughs> okay would you rather have the portal gun or the gravity gun it has to be the portal gun yeah way more people want the portal gun the portal gun would be so awesome you could just like you could just go anywhere that would be amazing although you kind of have to travel there to put the portal but you could just like take a lucky shot and just like, kind of like shoot the portal up into like the atmosphere. Hopefully it spins around somewhere interesting. <laughs> and then you could just shoot the other one and you know see where you end up kind of thing. That would be a pretty interesting thing to do. Or you could just do the kind of thing you do in the game. You know where you shoot one portal on the floor and one on the ceiling. And then you just jump through it. That would be amazing. That would be so much fun. Um, but yeah, portal gun definitely. Next question. Would you rather eat only chewed up food from out of a toothless elderly person's mouth or eat only chewed up food from out of a young chain smoker's mouth? Okay, so an elderly person's mouth or a young chain smoker's mouth. So an old person or an ashtray, right? Because... Hmm. None of them. Where's the third? Can I click or? <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> okay, there's a... I see a... Old person has bad breath. Young smoker is just ordinary looking. Well, I'm glad they've narrowed that down for me. That helps a lot, you know? Just just ordinary looking. What's ordinary looking? <laughs> Old person has bad breath. So the food... Oh, God. None of them. Oh, none of them. Oh. I don't... Uh, this is a horrible question, but I'm going to pick the chain smoker's mouth because... Uh, just the thought of like an old person chewing something and then spitting it out with like, I don't know. That doesn't make no sense, but yeah, I don't really have a logic for this at all, but they're fairly evenly split. Okay guys, this is the last question now, so would you rather be able to transform into anything slash anyone on the world? Do you mean in the world? Or... <laughs> Be able to teleport anywhere in the world. So they got it right there in the world. Anyway, not not the not the thing. Um, so would I want to transform, or would I want to be to teleport? But I don't know. Um, teleporting would be cool. Uh, is there like a thing? No, there's not. I'm thinking like a. Could it, so you could just teleport anywhere. It's not like you have to go there and then you can teleport there. You could just teleport there instantly. Which is very, very, very useful. And I'd probably use it for things like... Um, oh god, I'm late for work. No, no, <laughs> I'm here. Just very sort of boring things, really. Um, uh, or be able to transform into anything is probably... Like, because you, you could... Like, anything in on the world. So... You could, could you transform into like a, you could transform into anything. So say there was like a Transformers toy, you know, say there was like a Bumblebee toy. Can you transform into Bumblebee or do you transform into the Bumblebee toy? Because if you transformed into an actual Transformer, then that would be just the best thing ever. <laughs> but, um, 
I think, do you know one thing that, that would be amazing that I would love to do is I would transform into one of my friends at work and go to work on the same day as them. Because we'd both show up and they'd be like, what's going on? What? Nobody would know what to do. It would be hilarious. Or I'd transform, transform into like my boss and then, <laughs> and then just like knock on his door and be like, hi. Yeah, it just freak everybody out. Just keep transforming into everyone you see. That would be hilarious. That would be just amazing. I think I'd do that, honestly, because teleporting's cool, but it's not like you you can travel anyway. You know, I know teleporting's didn't stunt, but it's it's still a you you I know you can't teleport, but you can you can teleport to and from work. But I can travel to and from work, so it's not like I can't do it eventually you know but whereas transforming into anything or anyone you is you can't do that even if you dress up as them you're not them you don't look like them you know not probably anyway so i think i go with this one but just because of all the like the mischief i can like i can walk into a shop and just transform myself into the person that's serving me and they just like <laughs> would be so funny right i could just like walk around and i just get like a like a, a frame I just walk around holding a frame, and then everyone that looks at me, I transform into them, so they think I'm holding a mirror. Just daft, stupid things like that would just be hilarious, you know? So definitely this one. Oh, oh wow, 50-50. Wow, that is interesting. Wow, okay. Oh, that was that was very interesting. I really enjoyed that. That was really good. You won't be able to see me, you know why? Because this Saturday night, I will be John Cena. All right, then. <laughs> Oh, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. That was very good. If you guys like this, then I might do more of them. I might do face cam with them. Um, I'm not going to do face cam at the moment because I can't at the moment. <laughs> but um, maybe in the future, like I said, if I do more of these because you guys like them and, uh, and stuff, I will do face cam with them eventually. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it and you did like it, hit that like button so I know to do more. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you lovely, awesome, amazing people in the next video. Bye-bye.